My name is Amar Gandhi, a Senior Director of Product Management from Google Cloud, and I'm joined by my colleague, Jerome Sims. Hi, Amar. And we're both excited to share with you some new products and capabilities we're introducing at Next this year. As Amar said, I'm Jerome Sims, Director of Product Management at Google, and I'm focused on Google's DevOps portfolio. It's great to be here with Amar to share these exciting updates with our DevOps, sysadmin, and operator friends. Now, Amar will kick off the session. Thank you, Jerome. At Google Cloud, our mission is to accelerate every organization's journey to digitally transform the business. And when it comes to DevOps, we serve customers of all sizes and types today. While some of you are early on your journey, some are way ahead of the peers. Regardless of where you are on your DevOps journey, we want to help. Let me give you some examples of transformations we've enabled recently. First, Gordon Food Service. This is the largest family-operated food distribution company in North America. With Google Cloud, they've been able to increase the number of deployments from just four times a year to 2,900 times a year. That's a huge jump. And Lowe's, America's leading retailer in home improvement. I go there every other weekend. They went from doing just one release every two weeks to over 20 releases every single day or Vodafone, which I'm sure most of you are familiar with, one of the world's leading telecommunication companies. They used our Vertex AI and DevOps services to build a cutting edge AI ML platform to enable next generation AI use cases for their customers. As you saw, we partner with companies of all sizes to enable such transformations. And our goal is to make DevOps on Google Cloud easy for your organization as well. And to fulfill this mission, we focus on four key areas which address the key challenges we hear from these customers every day. First is security. Security in DevOps has become increasingly critical, and we are seeing more and more hackers preying on the security vulnerabilities of your software supply chain today. Software supply chain, simply put, is the journey that your software code takes from development all the way to production. Software supply chain attacks are on a sharp rise in recent years. Gartner predicts that 45% of organizations worldwide will have experienced a software supply chain attack by 2025. Number two, multi-cloud. More and more organizations are adopting multi-cloud today for many reasons, including the need for distributed applications, data sovereignty, security, compliance, et cetera. And your DevOps teams are being asked to support such multi-cloud deployments. However, this is not easy. How do we ensure efficiency, security, and consistency as we develop, deliver, and deploy across multiple clouds? This becomes a critical challenge. Number three, sustainability. Given the global climate change, all organizations are rising to the challenge. Virtually every team in every enterprise today is looking at how it can help their organization reach their carbon emission targets. Now, Google has long been a pioneer in achieving sustainability in our internal operations. And now we want to provide tools to support sustainable development and operations for all organizations. And finally, integrating and scaling your DevOps tool chain. This is still a challenge for many organizations. A typical DevOps tool chain can consist of many open source or commercial products and span across multiple areas. This can lead to large, complex, and fragmented tool chains that are very difficult to integrate and scale. At Google Cloud, we're working diligently on integrating our DevOps tool chain within the broader ecosystem. And we also want to support you to run your DevOps tools on Google Cloud with ease and scale. This year, we are launching many new products and capabilities across all of these four areas. And now I'm going to hand over to my colleague, Jerome, to tell you more. Thanks, Amar. Let's dive into some details of our announcements today. As Amar just mentioned, software supply chain security is becoming an increasingly critical concern for many DevOps teams. And to help you better protect your software supply chains, we're very excited to bring you Software Delivery Shield. 
Software Delivery Shield is a comprehensive yet modular set of capabilities that spans a set of Google Cloud products, delivering a fully managed end-to-end -end solution to help protect your software supply chain. It can start from helping to protect your applications at the local developer environment, enhance the security posture of your software supply, build a more secure CI-CD pipeline, and finally, protect your application once deployed to production. On top of that, we let you establish, maintain, and verify a chain of trust along your supply chain through policy enforcement. At Next this year, we're introducing new capabilities across many of these areas. First, shifting all the way left to help you better secure your applications during development, we are launching Cloud Workstations, a new service which provides a fully managed local development environment on Google Cloud with built-in security measures. If you're worried about source code exfiltration or privacy risks, Cloud Workstations allows you to limit access to sensitive resources or the public internet, or even use a fully private gateway. If tomorrow you patch a vulnerability or base image, with Cloud Workstation's forced image update, your developers will automatically have updates reflected in their own local environments the next day. With Cloud Workstations, you can be much better off in terms of securing your local development environments. More than that, we are also giving your developers tools to help them code faster with greater security. With Cloud Code Source Protect, developers will get real-time security feedback as they work in their IDE, such as identification of vulnerable dependencies and licensing information. This quick and actionable feedback can allow developers to promptly make corrections to their code at the beginning of the software development process, thereby saving hours of time that would otherwise be spent in costly future fixes. When your developers are coding in cloud workstations, Artifact Registry and Container Analysis can give them a secure space to store and manage their container images and language packages, and also scan them for vulnerabilities. We are now adding more language support for vulnerability scanning. You can now do on-push scanning for Maven and Go packages in containers, and for non-containerized Maven packages as well. To help you improve the security of your open source dependencies, our Assured Open Source Software Service provides a trusted source for you to access open source packages curated and tested by Google. This service now provides over 250 packages across Java and Python. These packages are built in our own secured pipelines and regularly scanned, analyzed, and fuzz tested for vulnerabilities. It also includes verifiable Salsa build provenance. Salsa stands for Supply Chain Levels for Software Artifacts. It is a framework that brings industry-recognized best practices for software supply chain integrity. In continuing to help secure your pipelines, I'm really excited to announce Cloud Build. Our fully managed continuous integration platform now supports Salsa Level 3 builds. In addition to providing an ephemeral and isolated build environment, Cloud Build now generates authenticated and non-falsifiable build provenance for both containerized applications and non-containerized Java packages, and also displays security insights for built applications. Finally, to help secure the runtime environment, we're introducing a new set of security features in GKE. GKE can now help assess your container security posture and give you active security guidance. It also includes many out-of-the-box security capabilities. Well, how about we just take a look at the demo now? Hey, everyone, and thanks, Jerome. My name is Victor Salve. I'm a product manager here at Google Cloud, and we're going to take a quick look at a brand new capability within GKE. So GKE's new security posture management capability provides foundational uh, Kubernetes security for your clusters by analyzing your workloads. And this includes things like configuration concerns, so like your pod spec security settings. It also looks at your 
images, your running images, and scans them for vulnerabilities on a daily basis. So if I drill into this report, I have all sorts of ways I can slice and dice. So for example, I can you know, look at it from a workload perspective, namespace, so forth. I can even filter by severity, things like my critical and highs, and get a report of just the things that I want to prioritize and address most immediately. And in this case, I have a vulnerability in Zlib, but it also gives me specific remediation. And that's one of the things that stands out with posture management for GKE is it gives you direct insights into where these things are happening in your systems. So the affected workloads, how to remediate them, and so forth. If I slice this by workload, I can actually look into specific workloads and see what's affecting them. So in this case, there's a number of vulnerabilities. In my currency ser service workload, I have you know, configuration concern. So I can go in and actually get specific remediation instructions directed right at this particular issue for this workload. So I know how to address it. It's not just a vague concern. And of course, I can then just go in and update it in my pod spec and make sure that uh, I'm running with the best security possible for my containers and for my applications. With these many features in GKE, we're helping to make security easy for every customer who is using our fully managed Kubernetes services. For customers on Cloud Run, our serverless platform, we're introducing new enhancements to Cloud Run's security panel. It now displays software supply chain security insights, such as the Salsa build level compliance information, build providence, and vulnerabilities found in running services. When your developers are building application, oftentimes they will need databases. I'm happy to introduce Cloud SQL Security Recommender powered by Active Assist. Cloud SQL is the fully managed relational database from Google Cloud. With Security Recommender, it can now automatically monitor the security posture of your databases, alert you on potential security vulnerabilities, and also provide guidance to help mitigate the risks. Today, more and more DevOps teams are being asked to support multi-cloud deployment. To make multi-cloud easier for you, we're introducing a set of new features to our Anthos platform. Anthos is a cloud-centric container platform to run modern apps anywhere consistently at scale. With the newly introduced features, Anthos customers can now enjoy a unified management experience everywhere from a single Google Cloud console. And to drive consistent security, governance, and observability across a fleet of clusters spanning all environments, whether on-prem, hybrid, or multi-cloud. In addition, Anthos now supports VM deployments for your edge environments. So customers can modernize their edge applications and infrastructure using a common platform that supports both containers and VMs. Sustainability has been a core value of Google from the very beginning. And to help our customers develop and operate more sustainably, I'm pleased to announce that Carbon Footprint is now generally available. Carbon Footprint introduces a new level of transparency to support you in meeting your climate goals. Now let me invite my colleague Cynthia to show you a quick demo of Carbon Footprint. Thanks, Jerome. Hi, everyone. My name is Cynthia. I'm the product manager of Google Cloud Carbon Footprint. You can access Carbon Footprint from the console navigation under Tools. Here, you can see the Carbon Footprint associated with your GCP usage. We use granular machine-level energy consumption data coupled with hourly emissions factors, which is then apportioned to each customer based on usage. For more details, you can see the emissions broken down into scopes one, two, and three, all of which are following the greenhouse gas protocol, carbon reporting, and accounting standards. You can also see a monthly trend chart together with breakdowns by project, by product, and by region. As Google invests in enough renewable energy and carbon credits to neutralize all of our operational greenhouse gas emissions, the net operational emissions associated with your Google Cloud usage are also zero. Beyond this dashboard, you can also drill down to the data through scheduling and export into BigQuery, which you can then use to save to Google Sheets or to customize your own dashboards using Looker or Data Studio. If you have Active Assistant enabled, 
From either the Carbon Footprint UI or Recommendations Hub, you can review the projects identified as idle and most likely unattended through machine learning. You can choose to shut down or reclaim these resources, which will not only reduce your carbon footprint, but also help you save cost. With the GA of Carbon Footprint, we believe it will help organizations achieve a much greener operations on Google Cloud. As previously discussed, integrating and scaling your DevOps toolchain is a challenge for many DevOps teams. And for that, I'm happy to announce our managed service for Prometheus is now GA. It offers a fully managed and easy to use monitoring service based on open source Prometheus with the speed and scale brought to you by Google Cloud. With this service, there is no longer a need to federate, add resources manually, or devote time to maintaining your monitoring infrastructure. You can focus on scaling your business and not Prometheus. In addition, to make continuous deployment easier for you, we added integration between Cloud Deploy, our fully managed continuous deployment service, and Cloud Run, our leading serverless runtime environment. With this integration in place, you will be able to do continuous deployment through Cloud Deploy directly to Cloud Run with one-click approvals and rollbacks, enterprise security, and built-in delivery metrics. Next, log information is very useful for our DevOps teams. And to make the use of logs easier on Google Cloud, I'm excited to announce Log Analytics, a new feature of cloud logging. Through an innovative partnership with BigQuery, cloud logging now allows your DevOps teams to get more value out of the logs through the power of SQL queries. Having your logs readily accessible in BigQuery, you can also leverage BigQuery's innovative machine learning for more advanced use cases. Well, everyone, that's everything I have today. Our teams work super hard to bring you all of these new products and capabilities, and I hope you're as excited about them as I am. Now, let me pass it back to Amar. Thanks, Jerome, for sharing those exciting announcements with us. With these capabilities, your organization can adopt a more secure, intelligent, and sustainable DevOps practice. If you want to learn more, and I'm sure you do, we invite you to check out all the other sessions in the Operate Track. Our subject matter experts will take you through them in more detail. And last but not least, we have just released the 2022 edition of the State of DevOps Report. You can download it by scanning this QR code or from the additional resources section down below. Thank you, and on behalf of Jerome and I, we hope you have a great next 2022. Thank you.